Can you tell her I'm sorry? I think you should do a public apology to my sister Demi. If it ain't nice, I'm going to start on you because I'm very protective over my family. <laughs> so. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> can't sing but welcome to the show babies ladies and gentlemen welcome back to your favorite podcast this is pillow talk i'm your host ryan pownell today co-hosted by my dear good best friend nathan webb all the way from london united kingdom moved to texas then to los angeles you've seen him on too hot to handle and you've seen his penis all over google nathan <laughs> webb <laughs> nude his nudes have been leaked only fans big only fans second highest earning male in the world i think how do i follow up to that how do I follow up to that? That's you. That's I Nathan Webb. Ryan's, I will say that your gag nowadays is to order a bottle in the club with Nathan Webb nude yeah. on the club on the, I on do the bottle. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Love story. Anyway. His penis was my background for about six months. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and today, our very special guest, all the way actually you're pretend from the UK. She's from the UK. All the way from the only way is Essex. Twelve years on the show? Eleven? Twelve years on the show. And now in Los Angeles for her first time in North America. How about that? Never even left. Crazy. Filming for The House of Sims with OFTV. She's the beautiful, the stunning, the queen of England. This is Chloe Sims. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's lovely. It touched my heart. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited. Thanks for coming on. But I haven't Sims. watched it yet because I didn't yeah. want to like... You know, ruin my experience. This is all brand well, new to that's, me. That's the thing. It's a good thing because you may not have shown up today. Right. Really? True story. True story. <laughs> no. You may not have walked what through are you the doors. Do to okay. Me? So, Pillow Talk is probably the most fucked up show right now, I'd say. You know, for the bigger shows, it's, probably, it's the most fucked up one. Oh, great. I'm so glad that I didn't do any research. Yeah. Like, a, a clip going viral right now is a girl, and I'll just tell you what she said. And then, based on your reaction, I'll know how far we can go on the scale, but she said uh, she loves when guys have sex with her on her period and then she likes to give them blowjobs afterwards and then kiss them so that her blood goes into his mouth. And it's a clip of that right now. Okay then, good for her. <laughs> so how's the Los Angeles been? <laughs> what have you eaten since you've been here? What the fuck? Someone just come on here and said that to you straight face. <laughs> yeah. was, how many white claws did you give her? <laughs> Before she, she drove. admitted that. <laughs> a lot of people say crazy thing in that chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. But you don't have to. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Okay. Not that they're not, but you're so beautiful. You could just sit, look pretty. I'm sure we'll get tons of views. <laughs> so I, I've been on your side of right. his interviews before. Okay. And mine was a very PG, respectful episode. But we brought another person with him because I did. knew he'd be PG. That went fucking banana sandwich. Yeah. Chase the more. Chase the more. And he did. He so, showed up with good stories. He did. Yeah, so he you did. and I are very similar in a sense. That's why I'm not the typical host. Yeah. That's why I'm here because I feel like you That's and I are a That's why we brought a PG co-host for your PG show. Do you show. always have a co-host? Yes. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. What, and you just chop and change? Yeah. yeah. So so he yeah. knows me and he knows that I wouldn't take it as far as he possibly does. So if I do really well in the crazy chair, does that mean I might be able to be on that I like side that. one the day? the crazy we chair. Switch. That's the new name of the chair. Maybe. And if you want to ask us crazy shit so mm. that you're kind of innocent and you want me to go a little banana sandwich, I'll go. I'm actually scared of what would come out of your mouth, to be honest. <laughs> You're giving me all types of crazy right now. Okay. First I think you should be in this chair, to be honest. <laughs> no, we'll start. That would be a funny episode one day. What, Chloe and I interviewing Ryan. That would be great. Yeah. I would yes. love to. Chloe. Right. Go on. Hit me. Okay. Yeah. Where is his? Oh, here. Who the hell is Murad Izemrin? Oh, my God. I don't know. Who is he? I have no idea. Hmm. Have you been on the internet? I have <laughs> right now. I have. No comment. Moving on. Are you single? Yes, I'm very single. How single? Really, really single. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you been on any dates since you've been in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. I haven't been on any dates. I've met up with a couple of people. Guys? But not on date, date, date. Okay. But I mean, guys, I, I'm hoping to go on lots of dates, so that's the thing. Because I'll be honest, Chloe, after we met at that tea party, yeah, I was kind of hoping, <laughs> you know, not overthinking too much, but that we would see each other again. Yeah. And you kind of stood me up. 
I didn't stitch you up. Basically, do you know the background of us meeting? I have no meeting? idea. I was, I was supposed to be the tea party. Oh, yeah. So Why well, wasn't you there then? I, w I had to go to Texas. I had to All go right. to Texas, but... I Fine. would love to hear your side because I've heard Ryan's stories about stuff that's happened between <laughs> us, which are very escalated. So please, really? so please, like let me hear your well. side. <laughs> right, hear so your side. Ryan comes to Tea Party mm -hmm. and he was very funny. I love funny people, especially funny mm -hmm. guys. So like we was just chatting and mucking around for ages. That's how I ended up here. Okay. But the joke was that he was going to become my stalker. And then he was Fair. telling me of all the ways he was going to do that, you know. So then, um, See, Doug, I got game. yeah, he said he was going to stalk me, right? So yeah. I was like quite enjoying the fact that I was going to have a stalker. Yeah. So anyway, you didn't stick to your side of the deal because you, you said you was going to stalk me the next day. How did I get I to the Whitney reply. comments? We're kind of we're kind of even here. You didn't do any stalking. I didn't do any replying. <laughs> what are you going to do? It, your, I tell you, your techniques are very rogue, but they seem to work. We were on the on the drive here. We had brought up one of his similar. Similar instances in Vegas, actually. Oh, don't do that. What a stalking incident. Because <laughs> no, no. I thought I was no, the first was, victim. No, no, you're the first, you're the first stalk victim. That, <laughs> okay. that was, that was he the... He keeps bringing up this time. <laughs> what? Where I, t <laughs> I was with the girl right? in Vegas all day and night. Yeah. And then at 4 a.m., all day and night. And at 4 a.m., she just, we were with the DJs, Loud Luxury. The DJ's photographer, I forget his name. Anyways, exactly. He starts hitting on her at like 4.30 in the morning. The DJ's photographer. Yeah, that we were with. We were, we were friends with Lalo. Right, okay. So then he shows up at 4.30 and he takes my girl. That I was with all day and we were together all day. And we've been talking. Pool party. Pool party all pool day. Pool party, dinner. Dinner, bar. Bar, nightclub till four. Mm. This was my girl. This was my baby. Mm -hmm. This was my muffin. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And then 4.30, little handsome DJ boy just swoops in and she's all over him. And I said like this. In his mind, in his head, this is how he said it. Remember, there was witnesses. So I said to her, I said, <laughs> if you go home with that guy, I'm going to fucking kill you. Flirty. Like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, don't. Okay. Do I was there. And then she goes to Nathan and says, I'm scared for my life. Ryan told me he's going to murder me. And you're it blew sorry. up. And everyone's talking about, oh, Ryan, I'm apparently you're, yeah, you're going to kill this girl. I'm like, do I look like I'm going to fucking, do I have a gun? I'm going to shoot her in the head. What? But, but I said to flip what that. What was the other version of this? So I was stood there and it was, you go home with them, I'm going to fucking kill you. That's what she <laughs> said. I said to people. <laughs> but okay. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> you did you say remember. it. Okay, you got to remember, he'd also been with the girl all day, right? So pool pie, bar, nightclub, and it was 4 a.m. So yeah. when he says he's not crazy, he probably had a ripped shirt with sweat and he was on so much ketamine and alcohol <laughs> that he was like, I'll kill you. <laughs> so like, it's like, <laughs> in her defense, yes, he probably seemed crazy at the time. And so I then had to I'm console her. I took her to Subway and Ryan got a hooker <laughs> went back to the room. Can you not? Sorry, apologize, we can cut that. <laughs> How's okay, that yeah. <laughs> Because nice. no, I did not, not for him for his for the guy that was for staying in his room. Terry, my videographer, yeah. he hasn't had sex in three years, and I yeah. bought him a prostitute. Yeah, so in the I, MGM Grand. So I went and found a prostitute for him because I thought it'd be funny to have sex for him in the first. Anyways, uh, enough about uh, just enough. No, These embarrassing about. stories. No, no I'm just keeping up. I'm digesting. Enough. Yeah. Let's, what you're saying. We need to talk. We're interviewing Chloe Sims. Apologies. Okay, so Chloe, tell us about the boys that you've met so far here. Are they celebrities? Are they rich guys? Are they normal people? Um, the guys that I've met so far, I've met an absolute nutter, you. And then since then, I haven't, no, I haven't met, I haven't met any new guys. I have been out with someone a couple of times, but he's someone I know from London who lives here. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any celebrity crushes that you intend to link up with? Um, celebrity crushes. Mm, I love Drake. He's Canadian, isn't he? Drake would love you. Can you introduce yeah. me to him, please? I have, I, I, we don't know each other that well. But like, same group of friends. Very good friends with fake Drake. Yeah. What's that mean? <laughs> friends with fake Drake. Who's fake Drake? There's an impersonator from my hometown who pretends to be, he calls himself fake Drake. He looks like Drake. Does he actually? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a, it, it push, he maybe. Did, he, did, drinks. He, he did really well for himself. He did, but. He got I mean, pretty famous. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Cute. Yeah. But yeah, no, I could definitely try to. He's one person away, Drake. But I can't call Drake, you know. But who is your ideal dream celebrity? I don't know. Do you know what? I, Physical get, I, wise. I get asked this question a lot in yeah. interviews. People always say, Is your celeb crush? I don't really go around having celeb crushes. Right. It's just not something that happens with me. The guys that I've been out with all look completely different. And the main thing they have in common is they're funny and normally treat me like shit. 
They're the two things that I go for, apparently, yeah. Give me your fucking white cloth. <laughs> <laughs> they're not aggressive. They're not aggressive to me. Yeah. But they like they just start off really good and then they just turn out to be cheating, lying arseholes. 100%. All of them. And you know what I find? And I hate to say it, but it's the truth. Go on. The guys that are the biggest pricks to their girlfriends never get dumped by their girlfriend. Ever. Yeah. You would think, oh, no, I, I, I would dump my boyfriend if you treat me. Nah. I don't know. There's something fucked about it. You definitely, I think from a woman's point of view, and you'll get like a lot of women out there that will say, yeah, if that happened to me, I'll just dump him. Yeah. But I feel like until you're in that situation, especially when they're toxic situations, yeah. it's actually really different and it's really yeah. hard to let go. I don't know what it is. It's like girls yeah. feel something. It's like the old, like, treat me and keep him keen. Yeah. So we used to say growing up, wouldn't it? Like a mm -hmm. high school, treat me and keep him keen. But that also works, works on men. It does. It does. It, it does. does work on men. Look, yeah. at, look at you know who. With you. True. You're welcome, no name drop, by the way. <laughs> Even though you deserved one. Hey, I, I'm here to buy. Listen. <laughs> Treat me and keep me keen. It's a thing, and you're right. No, with it men, is true. It works too. It the girls works that, on men, it, yeah. but the problem is, I think that. I only do it to guys that I'm genuinely not interested in. Okay. So like, then yeah. they end up being the ones that are more like, and I think, why can't the ones I like act like that? Mm. I don't know. I just think like that- Like the way you haven't replied to my DMs, you're just generally not interested. That's what no, she's just said. No, that's not what I'm, no. That's the takeaway. No, that's listen. That's the key takeaway, no. key. That's different. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm talking about when you're dating somebody and yeah. at first you're both like kind of nice to each other, aren't you? It's yeah. all new. Mm. It's all happy go lucky. And then when things get a little bit like edging towards a commitment, that's when it starts getting messy. Totally. I agree. And they go the other way. Do you know what? From the future, I'm going to be nice for a month and then I'm going to turn into an arsehole and see how that goes down. 100%. And he'll simp for you. He'll love you. Mm -hmm. That's how yeah. it works. I'm going to do I that for the next ignored. guy, mate. Ignored. A woman can do anything. But say you send it, like, just ignored a text message, you know, and you go, and you know, you yeah. know they're on the phone. People are on their phones all the time, right? All yeah. the time. Don't put it down. Doug, on his phone all day. Yeah. When I text him, hey, can you get me a white cloth from the fridge? Suddenly ghosted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, like, don't tell me you didn't see my text. You're yeah. too busy yeah. to text back. Yeah. People are on the, you're staring at your fucking screen all day. Yeah. Yeah. Drives Real me insane. Exactly. Drives me insane. You know. DMs are different, though. Especially ones like Chloe's. Fair. Four billion Quite messages a, a day. Few. You look so pretty. Mm. You know. <laughs> and you post good fucking pics. Do I? To be honest, Colby, when I was going to meet you, I thought that you were going to be a catfish because your pics are just so elite. Like I'm so flattered by this conversation. But then I meet you in person. I'm like, oh my God, it's how she looks in pictures and she belongs in Game of Thrones. I've never seen mm. that either, but is that a compliment? You know, you had that hair. It looks oh, like you're the, the, yeah, the yeah, mother yeah, of dragons. Yeah. With the flats, yeah. the flats, yeah. Mother of dragons. Yeah, I had some mm. really extreme plats that day. See, yeah. even, yeah. even my little sister, 17 years old, right? She's like, Chloe's what? She's like 23? I'm like, yeah, it's close. Yeah, I wish. Close. Although mentally I'm about 18, oh, so it's we're fine. With you. Trust me, 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 30. How old? 28. 28, almost 29. I'm younger than me. It makes no sense. You seem really mature. <laughs> what, like, what does he say? I'm not digging you out. I'm not digging you out. <laughs> well, he seems okay. mature. Call me, I have a question. No, I'm just saying in your like body language, you seem chilled, you seem yeah. mature. Very relaxed. You seem like a little bit erratic, but I like it because I'm a little bit like that as well. It's Thank just because I'm tired today. I can't tell if she's hitting on me or you in this interview. Oh, I'm not hitting on you. anyone. I'm just definitely. being friends. Yeah. Is it you or me? No, it's definitely you. <laughs> I think it's you. She likes I'm funny not guys. I'm not hitting on either of I know, you. but she likes mature. I'm not, I'm not from the UK. I got dad jokes. That's it. That's all I got. I don't know. I think she likes you. Who are you to pick? What? If you were to pick one. Pick what? M me or Nathan. And look, look, I'll concede. Because he's been speaking about you all day, that. so come on. I'll answer that at the end. Yeah. Okay, fair. Chloe, question. Uh, the British people are known for their very terrible teeth. You have beautiful teeth, obviously. Uh, Thank you. Are they known for bad teeth in Britain? Yeah. I feel like we were. Are when they? I first came, everyone would ask me to smile. It's a... It's it's like really? A, it's like a hat. I mean, I've not been to the dentist 12 years. You have the Very best clean. British teeth ever. Really? Real teeth as well. Exactly. My mind. But do you guys kind of just like roll with the punches and like accept that, okay, Austin Powers is in my bed tonight. He, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> How does that Ryan, work? I'm just going to like, you, I've just really, you talk so fast that I'm, at, I'm digesting the first bit and you're already on the last bit. Okay. First of all, I've never heard that before, what ever in my heard, life. That's a thing. <laughs> never heard it before, ever. The British with the teeth? I've never heard that British with really? teeth. I got that Crazy all the time. Guys? I, get, I mean, I get I'm, it all the time. Like, I'm yeah. speaking fast, Wait, right? that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Canadians slag off Brits for their teeth. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because what it is, is because the way it is, is they say, because we drink so much tea with sugar in, yeah. that it like 
fucks our teeth up. That, that's where it came lie. from. I've seen some ropey teeth in LA. I ain't gonna <laughs> yeah. lie. I've seen some proper teeth going around. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So that's then, a liar. And then also, like, so, I don't know what it is now. Like, <laughs> the Americans are adding teeth. Like, Chase got 15 fucking upper teeth. Chase the more. 15 teeth. Yeah. Right, how many vents do I have? I feel like not 15. Oh, you ever he, seen, he added you more seen those teeth? little things that you wind up, the little teeth, and it goes like, ng, 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 like that? It looks <laughs> yeah. like one of them. It's like jewelry. He's like, today we're going to go 17 teeth. She was very pretty tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Padding it out a little yeah. bit. I, I can't believe like, you guys never heard that. Yeah. I've never heard that. Well, she wouldn't hear it. She's got perfect teeth. Well, look, I, my teeth aren't real, obviously. Really? But I did have teeth. I started off with really good teeth. I okay. can actually See, prove it. I'll send you a picture. And what happened was, I went on telly and obviously back then it was like, do you want this done? We'll do this for free, we'll do that for free. And I was like young. I was like, yes, I'm going to do that. So I had veneers. It all went terribly wrong. I ended up going to a different dentist after. And they was like, you should have crowns. And I was like, all right then. And now I've got a fucking full teeth. They look good. They I mean, like they're, they're permanently great. stuck in, yeah. but underneath is a shark. Did they shave your, them down? To <laughs> yeah, a they shaved them down. You say shark like all thin? Full on shark teeth. Like the full pointies. I will say oh, yeah. the same thing. After going on a show, but or I whatever. didn't need them because I had strong, big, square teeth, teeth. when I went in there. Yeah, right. They just, they, you know, they're just dying to shave my teeth down. I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> you know. And then after, like talking to, like, I made friends with a dentist, and he was like, "That's really bad. That's what they do when you've got really bad teeth. Mm. What you've got. This is like for people that haven't like, barely mm. got any teeth." I was like, "What the fuck? I well, went in there with strong teeth." You, you thought they were strong. You're British. They, they were strong. <laughs> I'm going to prove you wrong. Okay. They were big, white, square, strong teeth. I was, I was going to say, I did, I did the same thing. Like I went, buddies of mine, I own a spa, right? Went on television and all that stuff. And they're like, let's give you some Botox. Mm. Never in my life. Would you get I offered fucking, some mad shit, never, don't you? I wouldn't do, like, look at me now. I can't fucking, I, I can't Botox. move. Did you do Botox? <laughs> <laughs> Show me your eyebrows then. For fuck's sake. <laughs> you, wherever you were, we're going to do very forehead. good here. By the way, hurt like a bitch. I couldn't believe is how you, much is Botox. Is it worn off yeah, though? Your head's oh, I did the, in. the shit under the eyes as well. Yeah, me too, I did all Filler. here. Yeah. I did, yeah. Did you actually? Preventative. I used to drink a lot. So I, my face just looked like I got knocked out by Mike Tyson and a hundred times. I look good now, now, but yeah. I'm plastic. Same. This is all. For, Do you this. actually yeah. don't look like you've had that much done? Thank How you. Just I? one <laughs> session. Just one session. Okay. So you said that you're not with any partners right now. And the guy that I asked you about earlier, you know, no comment. So are you still sexually active? What do you mean? Like in my age? No, just, you know, do, do you still have casual sex with, with guys? Cause... But when you say, do you still, like, as if you know for a fact that that's what I've been up to, I still have sex, yeah. Okay. But, but not, like, casual sex. I don't just go around having sex, no. Have you since you've been to LA? Have I had sex? Yes. Yes, I have, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess we'll see it on House of Sims. Yeah, if you're going to see it all. Oh. The only thing is, is the house we're staying in said no porn, so you're not going to see that much detail. That's fair. Yes. Oh, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. you're, you, have, you have OnlyFans. I do. Okay. When did you launch it? Um, around July time. Okay. And what can your beautiful soon-to-be subscribers... Because just so you know, this is a 94% male audience that watches this show. Okay. They watch for the guests. And often our guests get a lot of OnlyFans subscribers. Oh, yay, for me. Woo. Right. That's why the girls want to come on, because, you know, okay. turn, converts into moolah. It does. And my, hey, the Pillow Talk fans, they spend, apparently. They spend. <laughs> I'm going to let you know. Yeah, you let me know. Yeah. So what can they expect to see on your page? Well, at the moment, look, I am a certain age, you know, so I need to keep it classy. Yeah. But I have done when I was much younger, implied glamour modelling. Yeah. So I'd done topless. I actually done full nude once as well. Um, but that was before TOWIE. And then when I was on TOWIE, I used to do a lot of men's mags and Sunday papers. So I'm comfortable in doing those shoots. That's great. The stuff that I've got the minutes, lingerie, a little bit of implied and swimwear. That's perfect. And I think that's what OnlyFans has turned into, really, to be honest. Yeah. Especially it's July. What's that like? Five months? You've yeah, and also months. I was oh, in the UK, like, yeah. Yeah. so I got content when I was traveling, but it's mm -hmm. actually quite hard to do that kind of content 100%. at home. It's so 100%. miserable yeah. and grey. Mm -hmm. So I was really excited to get to LA and I'm going to start doing some nice content while and I'm here. And aren't you more motivated in LA to work on your content and your own? Definitely. 100%, right? Everyone yeah. says that. With, with OnlyFans as well, I've noticed a lot of my English friends, it's not a big thing over no. there, I don't think. Even in Toronto, me. you know. When you come to LA, every single person you speak to, 
Only fans, only fans, only fans. What do you do? Social media, only fans. I do, you know, yeah. everyone, right. everyone you speak to. So you, right. all your hangouts become talking yeah. about that or doing yeah. it together. You get out of the shower, yo, yo, your dick looks great. Let me take a picture real quick. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, That's what it is. But yeah. you're, you know, you're in the UK or Toronto and it's like, oh, I got to take pictures. Like, oh, you're it's always on your fucking rain. Phone. No, but it's, let's go have yeah. some. It's pouring down with rain. We can do it. Go in a yeah. bikini outside. Exactly. Waving, yeah. Fucking yeah. rained on. Yeah, it's just, it's hard getting content. I think it's hard getting content in any, for any social media at home. It's just so miserable. It is. Yeah. But when you're surrounded by people, like me yeah. and you together, yeah. it's so easy to make content all day. All day, just yeah. something funny happens, we film it, you know. Yeah. And it's good to have that. But you have your 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 two sisters, I do, your yeah. sister in law, yeah. and your brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you yeah. guys do content all together. We've been doing some content, yeah. To be honest with you, it has been really long hours because we're doing mm. a fly on the wall show here, yeah. so there isn't that much time off. But when we finish filming, I'm definitely going to get on the content. Yeah, and I want to do some good stuff for OnlyFans. Yeah, I want to do better on there. We could give you some advice. Yeah, I'll take it. You what know, is it? We know a lot about it. We actually started Pillow Talk Agency, which is an OnlyFans management agency. So this is Chloe, my partner in that, wizard. Hi, and Chloe. she's all knowing. She was actually at the tea party also. Okay. And she is me? the biggest fucking genius in OnlyFans. She knows everything. Okay. So she could send you tips and, and tricks I would and love stuff. that. Yeah. yeah. Do you shoot with Demi and Frankie? Right. This is something we definitely want to do. Sister photos. We haven't yes. done it yet. Yeah, you have But to. we want to do that. Yeah. Do you think that would do well? Oh, my 100%. God. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. You know, matching kind of fit like with a theme to it, you know? Mm. Yeah. Christmas set. Christmas. A lot of, yeah. a lot of butter, a lot of cream. 100%. All that. As yeah. long as you're comfortable. No, we will definitely do that. Baking a cake. That. that is great. Men yeah. want to see. How do you explain it? Like men still want to see you doing stuff I guess feminine right? right so anything to do with like little maid costumes fucking blow it just in insane any bakery shit insane Nathan, why don't you tell our lovely guest Chloe Sims what you're doing on your page for the holidays <laughs> yeah what, do, what are you doing <laughs> this interview isn't for me <laughs> All right. so wait do you what is you, your content like I, it, it varies it really does it he depends goes, who. he goes crazy yeah he goes crazy what's that mean though he does everything except for sex tapes Right, okay. But he does solo videos. Okay. Well, just, yeah, just me. Okay. Just me. Yeah. But why don't you tell her what you're doing for the holidays? I haven't, I haven't quite decided the plan yet. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't decided the plan. Anyway, Chloe, so how long have you been? Uh, <laughs> so he has a great idea. Okay. And he comes up with all these smart I did, I did come up with this idea, whether or not I'm not going to do it. <laughs> also, bear in mind, my 16-year-old sister is in the corner. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. Fine. It just, yeah. it just involves a gingerbread house, all right? That's and it. to the millions That's of it. viewers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't quite come up with an idea yet. Okay. So yeah. he was gonna do dick the halls dick instead the halls. of deck the halls. Yeah. That's and use all different kind of props. You know, okay. you know the Candy advent canes. calendars where you you open the the calendar and there's a chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. So he was gonna do a different an online advent calendar, but yeah. it's a different dick pic. Yeah. Every day. It's a really good idea. It's Great. Strong. It, it right. is, right? Yeah. So imagine imagine yeah. you wake up one day and you're like, fuck, I'm going to get a bounty in my fucking advent calendar. Yeah. Or there's Nathan, fully hard, <laughs> with a sock on and a candy cane hanging on it. Good. It's, a, it's a really good idea. Mm. I mean, I have got my advent calendar tough. already and it's got makeup in it and I'm yeah. actually genuinely excited about oh, that. Oh, that's great. But mm. for people that want to wake up and see that. Yeah. That's great, it's yeah. Great. I'm going to be honest, I don't like looking at men's dicks. It's fair, I don't either. Like, so, I just, yeah. I prefer only like the one that I'm in love with. Right. I don't yeah. look at random ones. Like, I actually think they're quite ugly, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think they're ugly. ugly. I think ugly. they're ugly. Big yeah. balls and, you know. Yeah, it's ugly. Like, hell, you know, you let it go. Because you must get a lot of dick pics I in do, your DMs. I do, and I really will. This is a message to anyone thinking of sending them to me, don't. Doug. Because no. I don't enjoy Note them. <laughs> Totally Chloe enjoy said it. no dick pics. No dick pics. I really no don't enjoy pics. it. I just think, why did you, why did you do yeah, that? Well, and they don't, unsolicited too. Yeah. They just yeah. send it. Oh yeah. It's like, whoa, yeah. bro. And I, know, yeah. I don't know what to throw in the rest, but my friend Douglas is a dick pic connoisseur. Oh really? What, just send them to random No, 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 no. Fantastic. If you're in a relation with Douglas, you can expect the creme de la creme oh, right, of okay. dick pics. But yeah. if you were to get a dick pic, Chloe Sims, yes. do you prefer a soft one or a hard one? Um, I would probably prefer none. To be honest with you, <laughs> Neva, Neva's gonna do it. I'm never ever gonna open a DM and see a dick and think, oh yeah, come on then and DM them back. I'm right. gonna be disgusted. Yeah. And but if them. you're in love with someone, 
Can he send you dick pics at that point or like just drop the whole fucking dick pic thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I suppose you could. If you was like away from each other for a while, then yeah, yeah. go ahead. Right? I'm not going to I'm gonna break up with you over it. Okay, but, but like, you, if you're sending me dicks every day, I'll probably be like, right, can you just chill. drop me out of like, this I'm now? I'm at, I don't I'm I'm Costa. remember I'm what cost, it looks I'm like. I'm Costa Coffee, I'm in a, you know, <laughs> yeah. with, my, with my sisters. I'm stuffing yeah. the Swiss cheese. <laughs> 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 for fuck's sake. I can remember I, I, what yeah. it looks like. You don't need to remind me every day, you know? Yeah, I agree. Do you send nudes to your partners? No, I do not. Really? I just think because of the oh. situation that I'm in, yes, I would really hate for one of them mm. to get leaked. Like if what's his name, Medvev or whatever, if he Can started you leaking. Shut up about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. It's also yeah. before I came to the United States, not a big thing back at home for me in high school, in secondary school. I never used to see like, never got nudes, never. Here in America, it's rife. Well, Snapchat. Oh, Europeans are nude. No, no, I'm saying like when I was back in secondary school at home, I feel like it wasn't a thing for us, right? Very trapped. That? Ooh. Right, what flavor is this? That's how we first met sharing vapes. It was? Yeah. How are they? <laughs> it's good, right? Didn't, didn't you quit a month ago? Yeah, I'm back. This yeah. one's better. Yeah. It's good. Carly no way, wants. it's got a smaller nozzle. The one you had last time, it was like. Do you know what I mean? Do that again, baby. <laughs> no, you just look right into the camera just one more time. Wait, is that got, I got anything in it? Made me have a head rush. Take it back. Yeah, good head rush. I'll eh? stick to my own. I'm a bit like, whoa. So you're very into fashion. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. So you do the runway stuff. You help design clothes. You wear your own clothes and stuff too. What are you talking about? I don't do runway or design my own clothes. I thought you did the runway stuff in Europe. No. Which what? sister does? Demi. Is your Demi. favorite. Ooh. Demi does it. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Demi. Does Demi hate me? No, she, she doesn't hate you. Demi's a hippie. She doesn't hate anybody. Oh, so you've got to be a real shit person for her to get annoyed with you. And we're almost. I'm almost there with Demi. You was mm. there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell her I'm sorry? I think you should do a public apology to my sister Demi. Okay, Demi Sims. <laughs> if he ain't nice, I'm going to start on you because I'm very protective over my family. So <laughs> can we, can we also get yeah, producer carefully. Terry to put some music on top yeah, of this? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I want a public you. apology yeah. for my sister Demi Sims. Okay, Demi Sims. The beautiful, sweet, British, lesbian, hippie, loving. She's actually bi. Bisexual. Mm -hmm. She's pretty lesbian, though. Get it right. She likes the girls a lot. You can't say that. This is a fucking apology. <laughs> <laughs> this is an apology, which you've got one more chance of getting right before I get my bag and leave. <laughs> Demi Sims. The beautiful sister of the lovely Chloe Sims. And my fair friend. The first I met of the Sims via Francesca Ferrago. Who is a close friend of mine that I grew up with. Right, why are you bringing her up? Well, this is an apology to Demi, remember? Are you going off course, darling? I'm explaining. Just a straight up, I'm really sorry, Demi. Will you yeah. accept my apology? We'll do. We don't need a whole background on this. Demi sense. I have ADHD. Uh, I have a lot of other things going on. I have a, every letter in the alphabet, really. You know, ADF, cheap, what whatever. What the fuck what? is going on? I'm... You're going on a tangent. We don't need your I... life story. We just want a bloody apology. I say a lot of stupid things and I piss off a lot of people all the time. And it always happens to me that I piss off the people that I care for the most. I care about you. And because of that, I try to make you laugh. And doing so, I hurt your feelings. And that's the fault that I've been working out my whole life. And I am getting better. And I'm sorry that you were the victim of my nonsense. I have nothing but great love and joy and respect for you. And you should have not been the butt at the end of my dumb humor jokes. So Demi Sims, I meant nothing by them. You're a beautiful, sweet girl. And I hope that you can forgive me and understand where I'm coming from, that I will do better. And I will just love and care and be respectful towards you. <laughs> wow. I don't know if to take you serious or not. Is that from your heart? Are you still taking a piss? That was from my heart. Are you sure? Demi Sims. Love okay, you. Okay, good. Okay, cool. We can move on. Sir? Do I have to do Frankie or Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We pissed him off. <laughs> no, I think we're cool. So you, I asked you actually at the tea party, I said, who's your favorite sister? And you said... Charlie. No, you said it's Charlie's, your sister-in-law. Julia. Yes. Did I? You said that's your favorite sister. It changes daily. Okay. Who yeah. do we like right now? And who's pissing you off a little bit on this LA trip? Um, to be honest with you, we haven't had any arguments that's nice. yet. We've lived together under the same roof for two weeks and we haven't actually pissed each other off. The first two days, I could have started on Frankie and Demi. There was a few moments in the kitchen. It was dirty. I'm not used to that. Getting up in the morning, there's like 20 cups in the sink. Well, they're not going to grow legs and get in the dishwasher, are they? So I cleaned it all up, cleaned all the sides down, went upstairs. This is no lie. Come, I put the dishwasher on, come back down to make my coffee. 
They'd already used all the cups. They'd sit there with all pots and pans, all food everywhere. Oh, he's like, are you two fucking joking? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, my God, I was about to switch. And then I thought, I've got to take a deep breath and remember they're in their 20s. And I thought, do you know what? If you can't, what is the word? If you can't, can't beat, beat them, join, join them. them. Yeah. So now I'm a sloth as well. I'm just leaving plates and cups everywhere. I kind of did it. 100%. So, uh, that, that's yeah. tell you, you are me. You I kind of started doing so, that with so, Carly. So Ryan, Ryan, we moved into a house, whatever. Ryan decided his exact words, and I quote, he bought plastic cutlery, plastic plates, and plastic cups, because he said, I will never fucking clean up, so I'm going to buy plastic shit because I'll throw it away. That's really so what, disappointing. So what does he do first night that he has friends over? He uses the glass cups, <laughs> leaves them everywhere. <laughs> His own knowledge. Just right, listen, I just don't like. I just don't like mess. Yeah. I just, I just no, don't exactly. like it. But look, like at home, like when I go to bed at night, I put everything back. The sofa gets turned over. The cushions get with the karate chop in the middle. <laughs> cups go <laughs> in the dishwasher. When I wake up, I like waking up to a nice yes. fresh start. I agree. And look, I'm like that too. But our, you're clean. But Carly's mm. not clean. Not clean at all. She's no. leaves shit all, all over the place, mm -hmm. especially in the kitchen. She cooks three meals a day and just leaves shit everywhere. I said no problem. I'm gonna use plastic everything. Your your bullshit mess kitchen because I don't want to be like oh I did the dishes that if I just use a fork and I got to clean up your fucking taco party <laughs> you know? so now I'm, just, I'm throwing everything out and then a mess is a mess it's Carly's mess you're basically the Frankie of my family because that's what she does Good. she only washes up things she uses whereas yeah. me and Georgia um, which you, is Charlie's fiance yeah. will do the cleaning for everybody so do you know what that's the only thing that I could have had full blown row over plus I was jet lagged but I've got used to their shit now so but you I, I know what you mean you kind of end up simping down to their level no I've scooped down to it right you, you just go like okay this is I how we fucking shit live everywhere, yeah. you just throw your fucking yeah. banana peel at the wall <laughs> no I'm just leaving <laughs> shit everywhere fuck yeah. it I'm with you you I'm excited to. You, you're, you're clean I'm normal. Yes. No, I'm not. We get along very well. Where is you it, by the way? Clean. What, yeah. what town in LA are you in? Um, Hollywood, West Hollywood. Oh, you're in West Hollywood. Close, yeah. close. Right in the thick of it. Why do you live there as well? We're close. Yeah, we're very Studio close. City. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I've heard of Studio City. Yeah. So it goes Holly West Hollywood, then Valleys. No, Studio City, then Valleys, or is it the other way around? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just straight over the hill. Imagine, like, you look at the hill, boom, right over the edge. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, because no, because we're looking at properties. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you guys want to move here now, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to get a house. Yeah. And we're just looking at the valley and Studio City as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Might Maybe be an You're actually come. building three houses next to us. You guys should come hang out sometime. Maybe Sunday we're having a, a football Friendsgiving thing if you guys want to come over. Yeah, do you know what? My brother really wants to watch a game. Yeah. He's been talking about it. Oh, we'll bring Charlie to a game, the Rams game. He, he's friends with someone at Where the... Where are you going to watch yeah. it? Because he wants to go to a sports bar. It's been a thing. He's gone on okay, about the whole time. Okay, let's take him to third base. Let's take him to third base on third Sunday. Base. We'll take him yeah. to the sports bar. I'll suggest But also, we could take him to... He's friends the with the people of the NFL team. Right. Mm. He gets the all-access pass on the field and stuff. This guy. Are you actually going this Sunday? No, this no, Sunday no, we're no, having friends Sunday. over. Yeah. Right. So he could come hang out. And but then, but any any of the Chargers games, we can go it, to. That's it, LA Chargers. Any of the home, right, char home Chargers games, yeah, yeah, we can go and to. And he's got I'm the sure cool. I'm sure he'd love that, yeah. One of his super fans, I think her dad owns the team. Okay, cool. <laughs> is that what it is? No. It's something like that. <laughs> it's, <something> like that. <laughs> yeah, it's close, yeah. She's on the Women's Advisory Board for Gatorade. <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really close. Yeah. But no, she's dope. And yeah, she's really cool. And then... Fuck, what else is it? Yeah, one of the lawyers is the lawyer for the I think the, you'd whatever. get on really well with Charlie. You seem like you're yeah. quite cool. He's really, like, chilled out, isn't Maybe he? Maybe Charlie yeah. tonight. Just don't, to I just don't yeah. feel like you should go straight in with the dick chat, though, because that happened nah, at the, di the a tea chat. party, and I know he was a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think. Have you got a picture of Charlie? Do you mind if I look at your brother? Just he, Google him, yeah. He's a good-looking guy. Do you know what? You guys are really all good-looking. I'll show you a photo of right? him. Yeah. He's very, like, Charlie's got a dry sense of humour, yeah. but he's, he doesn't have to be the loudest person in the room. Yeah. Okay. So if there's big yeah. characters... Like and, me. I'm chill. Yeah, I can That's tell. why we compliment each other well. Ryan, very loud, <laughs> but he's also very handsome, so he backs it up. You know what I mean? Wow. I just sit there. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you crack more jokes than me sometimes, though. Yeah? It depends. It depends. <laughs> mine, mine. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I can't actually find a photo of him. How awkward. Charlie. So, Ellie, this, is, no, this is him last night. No? This is him with his vegan donut. He's taking you, it so serious. Is he vegan? Are you vegan? He's a good looking lad. He's nice looking. He'll turn around in a minute. Yeah. Look how serious he's wrapping the donut up though. <laughs> What's he's, in a, he's vegan? What's in it? He's not vegan. He's got a dairy intolerance. Uh, we, got so, the, we got the best vegan donuts. The whole time we've been in LA, yeah. like I've been respecting this. 
yeah. and like choosing everything vegan. And then last night, do you know, what? I felt like being selfish and just having mm. gluten and dairy. <laughs> so I did, and it caused a row because he was mm. like, "You've ordered a donut without me." <laughs> he was like so upset about it. So yeah, we had what do we have? We had Krispy Kremes last night. You did. Krispy I love Krispy Kremes. Yeah. Listen, I had a peanut butter and jam, deep fried brioche donut. Okay. It sounded Ooh. so Someone's good. Yeah. And then when I ate it, I felt violently sick. I'm never yeah. ever eating that again. It made me feel so <laughs> ill. I'm never eating it again. Chloe, question for you. Go on. And I don't want to ask this because I know you guys get asked this a lot, but I have to ask it because it's an interview. Uh, do you guys feel like your, your game plan is to roll up to LA and steal the Kardashians' throne? I mean, if that was an option, I would fucking love to do that. Are you joking? <laughs> I'd actually love to. Right. Um, realistically, like, they've been around a long time, yeah. you know. So, but yeah, I mean, if I could be two footsteps behind them, I'd absolutely love that. I'm not going to lie. And I love the Kardashians. Yeah, they're great. I'm not embarrassed to say that. Like, yeah. I fucking great. love them. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'd, awesome. yeah. I'd never seen the show until this season. They're, they're Hulu. great. Hulu, great. I yeah. love them. Stuff. I love their Enjoyable. fashion. Yeah. I like their sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I love it that they've smashed it. They've come from reality, which mm -hmm. is the same background as me. So yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, absolutely. So they have Chris Jenner, who's the brains behind all of their operation. Do yeah. you guys, as the Sims, have a Chris Jenner? Charlie managed us in the UK. Okay. He still does at the moment. Um, so yeah, we used to take the piss out of Charlie and say that that was his role. He's the Chris. Okay, yeah. Charlie's Chris Jenner. Yeah, I thought it was you. He's the business and I'm the creative. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're um, we're like a little team, me and Charlie. Because you're kind of like the leader, though. Let's be real. Well, the boss. Yeah. I think so. Some, I don't mm. know. Sometimes no, you I are. am, no, I'm not, sometimes I'm not I am. I've not met Frankie and Demi, so I'll have to... You're hold. the boss. Yeah. I think it's because I'm the oldest. Okay. And I've done the industry the longest. But when it comes to anything serious, that's Charlie's. Charlie's Kris Jenner. You're Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Demi's... The, the little Jenners. Yeah, Kylie. Kylie and Kendall. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. That's Demi. I think so. And then Frankie's like Chloe or what's the other one? Kendall. Chloe or Courtney. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Because she's like the down to earth, like cool, really nice, like chill. Yeah. You know, she's Demi's quite the quiet, sweet, Frankie. young, hot, like cool, yeah, wild yeah, yeah. child. Yeah. Charlie's the brains. Mm. And you're Kim motherfucking K. But the thing is, like, we. People keep seeing it, saying this to stately, obviously. And obviously in the UK, people are trying to be muggy about it. Right. But at the same time, we're nothing like the Kardashians. Yeah, it's And true. our show won't be anything like it. Yes, it's a reality show. And yes, we're a family. But that's where the similarities end. Right. Because I think that just being British for a start, we're literally nothing like the Kardashians. So true. And true. our show's true. really raw. Like you're going to see exactly what we look like before when we've just opened I our eyes. I can't wait to see who you slept with since you've been here. <laughs> I'm glad that's the only bit you're looking forward to. I put all these hours into yeah. a show. But Episode four, yeah. uh, 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 four thirty-two. <laughs> oh no, that's it. Turn it off. Yeah, we'll watch we'll it. Watch the whole thing. Wow. Usually episodes are thirty minutes. Yeah. We've gone. 40. Holy shit. We've gone for. We're gonna get in so much time. Time flies when you're falling in love. That's oh, what we say. you're so nice. Yeah. So Chloe, tell them uh, just to end it the links. You know, so your Instagram, Chloe underscore Sim Starship. Mm-hmm. And then your OnlyFans link, is it the same? I don't know. Or just Chloe Sims. It's, Chloe, is it in your yeah. bio? Sims. It's in, yeah, it's in my bio. It. I've got it in my link tree, actually, yeah. on mm. my bio. See, I'm down with the kids. We've got to get you a hoobie, though. We've got to get you a hoobie. Hoobie's the new one. Link tree's out, hoobie's in. Doug, yeah. check, Doug, check my phone me. quick. Yeah. Uh, House of Sims will be on OFTV <laughs> mid-February 2023. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. We, uh, her siblings are Demi, Frankie, and Charlie Sims. Of course, Georgia is a soon-to-be Sim. She is. See, I know my shit. You know a lot, yes. yeah. Uh, and yeah, this was our first European episode, by the way. So that's special. Yeah. And thank it's you for coming. Did special. you have a good time on the show? I did. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so I, was I like toned him down. You're welcome. Okay. Maybe next time, episode two, I'll step out. <laughs> okay. Nathan Webb, Nathan K Webb <laughs> on Instagram, Nathan Webb on OnlyFans. On OnlyFans, always. Ryan Pownall on OnlyFans, three L's. Is it three L's? No OnlyFans. No OnlyFans. No OnlyFans. I've been trying to tell him, Pillow Talk OnlyFans would, would go crazy. I'm thinking about doing it. Would go crazy. I think you should definitely do that. Yeah. A Pillow Talk one. But yeah. of, not of me, I'm not even in it. No one, no one wants to see me naked, let's be real. Hey, they might. Come on now. I know there's two of us in the room that do. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe. Come yeah. on, get naked. <laughs> you get Chloe. naked and we'll tell you whether it's worth it. <laughs> we'll be the judges. Do you want to see right now? Yeah, come then. 
All right, maybe turn you back to the camera. <laughs> Seriously? No, I'm joking. You no, because he will. No, he That's, no, that's an unsolicited <laughs> dick. That's a solicited yeah. dick pic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This was Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks, guys. That was fun. Thank you.